Ayan, good morning everyone. I hope naka-breakfast na kayo ha. I hope walang magugutom dyan dahil dire-diretso tayo ha. Wala tayong pahinga. Okay? <laughs> good morning everyone. I'm Angelo. Ayan, good morning everyone. I hope naka-breakfast na kayo ha. I hope walang magugutom dyan dahil dire-diretso tayo ha. Okay, kumuhulit. Wala tayong pahinga. Okay? <laughs> good morning everyone. I'm Angelo. Ayan, good morning everyone. I hope naka-breakfast na kayo ha. Nangyari. <laughs> wait lang, wait lang. Bakit ganun? Sandali, sandali. Ayun. Kaya pala eh. Ayan. Okay na. Wala na akong clone. <laughs> No more clone. Show video panel. Okay. Gandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Naka-breakfast na kayo. Morning. Oh, yeah. Morning. Yeah. Welcome Morning. to your Welcome to your life, marriage, and relationship counseling. You know, napaka ganda na ating mga pag-uusapan. Bakit? Because this will be your future. Itong ating uh, mga darating na panahon na hindi pa natin sure kung ano mangyayari. Hindi tayo sigurado kung ano ang ating kahihinatnan. Kasi moving on to the next level of our lives ito eh. Di ba? Nung mga binata pa tayo, we, we only think about ourselves. Ano ang ating kagawin? Ano ang pupuntahan? Ano ang ating gustong uh, gawin sa buhay? Ganun tayo pag tayo ay single. Pero iba na rin kapag tayo ay mag-aasawa na. This will be a different level of our lives. Ah, okay. Okay, noted, noted. The message. So this will be a different level in our lives where we decided to get married. So ang ating uh, mga pag-uusapan dito ay mga bagay na hindi natin nare-realize before getting married because we assume na kaya natin. We assume na naintindihan natin ang married life. How do we how do we do that? Because nakikita natin to or we see our friends, we see our family members that are married also. Nakikita natin how they handle their lives. So somehow we think of emulating them or somehow we think of not emulating them if they have bad experiences in marriage, diba? <laughs> And so the objective of this counseling is to strengthen the foundation of our nation. And what is that? That is the family, which you are going to build 5, 10, 15, 25 years from now. So let me give our house rules. No taking of calls, please, or talking to each other during the presentation. Tell me when you want to have water or see your break. Uh, after one hour, siguro, we will have our five-minute break. Then, respond with ask a question. And when you are both PC, I will just repeat the entire session from slide one. I hope we understand each other. Huh? Just call me Angelo Ibase. I'm being called as Papa Angelo, the life mentor, because I have this live program at, Pap at Leader News Philippines. It's an online program where I used to give advices about life. I'm a retired religious leader also from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or what they call us the Mormons. I retired already, and my my academic credentials, I took up 
psychology at Arellano University, Manila, and political science. So I got two bachelor degrees. The other one is from University of Makati. And Katarungan from Barangay Law in University of Makati also. I also studied paralegal. This is a summarized studies of law in UP, school, UP Law School, Diliman. And I got three postgraduate diploma courses also in De La Salle, space in Manila. Space means school for professional and continuing education. And in Ateneo, I took up crisis management, negotiation, deal or deadlock, and training organizational needs analysis because of the different fields I am specializing with. So these are my credentials, De La Salle. And I have over 23 years of professional career in the, in the private sector as a manager or supportive executives. And because of that, I'm being invited to speak at different schools or universities like this one in Our Lady of Fatima University, at Miriam College, and at PUP or Technic University in Taguig. I work for the Dean of UP Law School. She is now the Dean of the UP Law School. But Dean Pidesco Delta. I got media interviews also, March 10, 2010, DCMM. Leader News Philippines, this is an online, online news agency also. And my interview at GMA 7 Stanford. Very close on our businesses, uh, entertainment industry. So we used to meet every year before the pandemic. Wala lang ang aming mga um, meetups, gatherings because of the pandemic. My wife is also being interviewed in different radio stations. I'm the founder and managing director of this firm, the law, BCIDP Law Office, and Exclusive School for Couples. We also have different companies, pero mahaba pa pahaba ang ating usapan. <laughs> this is a family corporate mediation center also, CIDP, where we partner with the retired judge, court judge, who knows the legal process in the Philippines. And we are the very first non-law firm, family mediation center, kung, law, kung mediation pag-usapan, pag-aayos ng problema, we are the very first non-legal or non-law firm. Because we believe na kapag dinala sa court yung problema, nilabas ng, nilabas ng bahay, malayo ang mararating, marami na pwedeng mangyari, marami ng wounded feelings, Marami ng emotional stress affecting both parties pag dinala sa korte ang problema. So, sa bahay lang muna dapat nagsisimula ang pag-solve ng ating problema. Okay? My wife is also a mediator in the Supreme Court. Yeah. We have religious partners, the Catholic priests who are not prohibited from doing outdoor weddings na may misa. So kung may mga plano kayong kasal na outdoor na may misa, so we are the, we are the only group who are authorized to do it na related sa Vatican or sa Santo Papa. Because Catholics are 24 organizations talaga yan, worldwide. And one of them is here in the Philippines. So, yeah, kami yung so, kami mga religious partners. So our advocacy is to be government's partner in building stronger marriage foundations and happier families in the next generation. So our universe, as you all know, as you all uh, I hope you all realize na hindi ito gawa ng tao. Hindi ito kayang gawin ng tao. Yung ating mga planets, yung mga stars, billions of stars, yung ating mga uh, nakikitang mountains, sea, all these are natural wonders which are not man-made. We, time and again, since the history of mankind, na realize na rin, na pag-aralan na rin ng maraming philosopher 
at mga anthropologists, mga theologians na merong nag exist na powerful being na hindi natin nakikita. Na nakita, nagkaroon ng chance na makita ng pinakaunang tao sa mundo. At kilala niyo kung sino yun. Pinakaunang tao sa mundo. Na nagkaroon ng chance na makapiling ang Diyos. At kung naalala niyo rin, nagkaroon din ng chance ang mga tao na makilala ang Diyos, mamit at makasama, makasalamuha, makausap during the time of the existence of the Roman Empire. So, I hope you know who I'm speaking with or who I'm talking about. And the universe is functioning according to law. Let us all remember that our life is functioning according to law. Ibig sabihin, may mga existing laws na na gumagana working in our lives hindi na lang natin nakikita hindi lang natin napapansin and the violation of these laws the moment na pinakialaman ng tao ang mga laws na ito na gawa ng nature the punishment is built in okay hindi mo kailangan dalhin sa korte, hindi mo kailangan pasuhan, hindi mo kailangan i-depend ang sarili mo <laughs> when you violate natural law. Okay? So I hope I hope nagkakaintindihan tayo sa bagay niya. So don't ever forget that. that there are natural laws, there are laws functioning to our lives. Ibig sabihin, kung Pagka problema ka ngayon, masira ang buhay mo. Dalawang bagay lang yan. It's either you violate a law of nature or you violate the laws of man. Okay? Halimbawa, you jump off the building. You violated the law of gravity. You don't have to be brought to court to, to be punished. You violated the law itself, the law of gravity. <laughs> And the punishment is built in. You know what will happen to you when you jump off the building. Sa batas na tao, laws of men, when you violate traffic laws, of course, the moment uh, you decided to drive off the street, you're already subject of the traffic law, subject to traffic law. And the moment you violate traffic laws, of course, the punishment will come later on. No? Will come after. While in violating the natural laws, the punishments are built in. You don't have to be brought to court. Okay? And the natural or spiritual laws that we are talking about, uh, according to Wikipedia and all other dictionaries, these are the laws that conferred not by act of legislation but by god nature or reason okay sa tagalog ito yung batas na hindi inimbento ng tao or hindi control ng tao okay these are the laws na hindi imbento at hindi control ni numan kahit sinong human being okay And so violations of God's natural laws gives instant punishment or results to disaster, domestic violence, even regrets. Okay? Lahat yan ay lalabas when you violate natural law. So I'm showing a photo to you na uh, this is a tragic, very tragic incident involving a husband and wife na they did not realize that they are already violating natural law. Okay? Hindi nila napansin that they had been already violating natural law. Kasi hindi naman 
Basta basta malalaki ang isang tao kung hindi napoprovoke, di ba? Tama ba, Joshua? Napoprovoke. Napoprovoke mo lang isang tao bago malakit, di ba? Unless merong diferensya sa pag-iisip. Di ba? Am I correct, Roxette? Hindi ko nakikita yung video niyo. So some of you, I will, I will call them. Ha? Yes. <laughs> di ba? Yes. Unless may diferensya sa pag-iisip, doon ka matatakot. So anong violate anong violated law sa incident na ito na tinaga ng kanyang mister ang babae nito na nabiyak yung mukha? Anong law ang na-violate dito? Mamaya makikita nyo, malalaman nyo kung bakit. <laughs> kung ano ang nagtulak sa lalaking yan para gawin yan sa kanyang husband. And also this incident published at Yahoo! Uh, bagong kasal lang to, no? very tragic ang nangyari. Four months pa lang yung kanilang baby. So ilang buwan pa lang halos silang sasama. The guy is an Egyptian. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, from Greece. Oh, the guy is from Greece. And the woman is a British Filipina who live in Greece also. So nakakilala sila doon. Uh, after a few months of pagsasama, The, the, <laughs> this man killed the woman. So, very tragic. Alam niyo kung bakit, bakit sila nag-away? During pandemic, ito nangyari last year. Uh, no, no, no. I think last December lang. December, before Christmas. Nagkaroon sila ng misunderstanding. Nasa isang bahay lang sila because stay at home. Nasa loob lang. The husband is upstairs. Nag-aawin sila through text or nagsisigawan din sila at the same time. Siguro pag nagkarinigan. At sinabihan ni bride or ni ni wife, si groom, yung husband niya, sinabihan niyang stupid. So from there, uh, sabihan siyang stupid, talagang nagkagulo sa loob ng bahay. <laughs> at gumawa ng istorya itong si lalaki na na pinasok daw sila ng mga magnanakaw, mga robbers, tinalihan daw sila. Uh, Siyempre, mayroon naman bulahin ng mga polis pag nag-isip talaga ng mabuti yan, pag nag-analyze ng situation niya, eh, makikita nila lang kung ano talaga nangyari. So, uh, the wife was strangled to death. <clears throat> so, that was very tragic. Now, I want you to to learn this very first principle I will uh, tell you in our session the relationship between the manufacturer and his products. Let us all remember na every manufacturer hindi yan maglalabas ng produkto without any reason, without any purpose at all. They will not produce any products that has no purpose at all. Yung walang paggagamitan. Walang ganun. Okay? <laughs> Kahit sinong manufacturer, kahit naman kayong dalawa eh, pag gumawa kayo ng produkto, kayo mag-asawa, kayo kayo ng pabrika, kagawa ba kayo ng produkto without any purpose, na trip nyo lang gawin, okay? <laughs> Walang ganun ha? Laging meron niya paggagamita. Laging merong purpose. So, I want you to learn and realize this relationship. Na kapag hindi nyo naintindihan niya, you will abuse the product. Pag hindi mo natutunan yung purpose ng produkto, you might abuse the product. And abuse came from the word abnormal use. Okay? <laughs> abnormal use. It is being abused when it's not used for its own purpose, for its very purpose. That is called abuse. Okay? The same with husband and the wife. <laughs> Kapag hindi mo naintindihan yung purpose ng husband mo, you may abuse your husband. Pag hindi mo naiintindihan kung anong purpose ng wife mo, you may abuse your wife in the process. So you have to know that. Ano ang pagkaka-design ng produkto? Ano ang purpose ng produkto? Ano ang tamang gamit ng produkto? So you can maximize the use of the product. Okay? So always remember that. Ano ang beneficyo? What are the benefits if you know how to operate the product well? 
Anong benepisyo? Uh, Joshua, may I ask you, anong benepisyo? If you know how to use the product well. Joshua. Hi. Um, ayun, mas... May, mas Menos? Uh, alam mo nung... Ano ba yun? Yung purpose ng ano. Nung, nung, nung product na yun, pag alam mo yun. Yeah. Nagtatagal ang produkto, di ba? Uh, yes. Gagamit mo ng maayos, na ma-maximize mo yung usage. Bumabalik sa iyo ang tamang benepisyo according sa pagkakadesign, according sa purpose ng gamit na yun. Di ba? May binili kang TV, smart TV, na akala mo panonoorin mo lang, sasaksak mo lang, okay, nagagana na. Hindi mo alam, marami pa ng function yun na magbibigay sa iyo ng mas magandang programs or channel. Di ba? Because na-miss mo yung part na yun because you just assume na pag sinaksak mo lang yan, naandar mo na pa yung gusto mo. It's a different thing when you understand the design of the product. Okay? And why we are using the word product? We are human beings. We are also products. Male is also a product. The female is also a product. They are both powerful beings. Okay? <laughs> Kaya huwag niyong i-assume na, na kapag ang lalaki malakas, mahina ang babae. Do not assume that. They are both powerful products. Okay? <laughs> the male and the female. And magkaiba ang purpose. Okay? Kaya you cannot assume na sabihin mo na yung wife mo dapat kapareho mong dimiskarte, dapat yung husband mo kapareho mong mag-isip. No. You cannot assume that because you are two. You are the same products of one manufacturer pero with different purposes. Remember that. Okay, bang purpose niya. And since you are both powerful, makikita niyo yan pag sa corporate world, walang babae nagpapatalo sa lalaki. Di ba? Napansin niyo yun? Lagi yan makikipag-compete ang babae because they believe that they can be at par with the males. Okay? <laughs> they believe in their hearts that they are also powerful like the men. So they will always compete. Pero nag-iiba ang situation the moment you got married. Okay? Don't forget that. Mag-iiba ang situation, ang level ninyong dalawa the moment you got married. Why? Because the very purpose will be activated. Anong purpose yun? The purpose of the husband, the purpose of the wife. Because before, before kayo mag-decide mag-asawa, you are just being called as the male or the female. Di ba? Before you decided to get married, you are just called as male and female. Pero when you decided to be a husband, to be a wife, You, the marriage laws will be activated. Yung sinasabi ko kanina na hindi ka pa nagda-drive before, hindi ka sap ng traffic law. Pero nag bumili ka ng kotse, nag-drive ka. You are now you will then be subject to traffic laws. Nag-asawa ka, you will then be subject to marriage law. Kaya ang marriage laws ang masusunod ay yung mismong manufacturer nito. Sino ang nag-create ng marriage? Who manufactured the marriage? Because marriage is also a product. The moment your blood joins together, you become a product. What is that? Marriage. You created a product. And that is called an institution already. Yung marriage na ginawa ninyo. Kayong dalawa, you created an institution. And that was the very first institution established in the history of mankind. Not the church. 
The church came after. Okay? <laughs> now, the manual in every manufacturer, manufacturer's product, is contain the laws of the product itself. Ano yung mga do's and don'ts sa loob ng, ng produkto na yan. Okay? Ang, hindi lang don't yung laman yan. Also yung mga do. Para ba ma-maximize nyo yung usage ng product. And in learning the, the meanings of every word, we have to go back to where it was originally created. No? Doon mo malalaman yung totoo because truth means original information. So in order for us to, to know what is the truth about a word, what is the truth about marriage, we have to go back to where it all started. Okay? So in a particular product, there is always a manual. And the manual called, its etymology means the manu or the maker, and al is the mind of the maker. That's why the word manual was created, combining the mind of the maker and the manufacturer. Okay, Every product has a purpose as it is designed. So always remember that. The manual is the law of the product. So do not just follow the don'ts. You also have to follow the do's so you will maximize the use of the product, okay? So any misuse or abuse, the product will, will malfunction. If you abuse the purpose of your husband, your husband will malfunction, okay? <laughs> if you abuse the purpose of your wife, she will also malfunction, okay? If you fail to, to provide what your wife needs, she will malfunction. If you fail to provide what your husband needs, he will surely malfunction. And that is called abuse, okay? <laughs> Abnormal use, okay? So when, when there are things told by people not in accord with the manual, everything you say about the product is an opinion. If you are not the author or the creator or the manufacturer of a certain product and you and you tell something about it without reading the, the mind of the maker, the design, without basing it from the design, from the original design, everything you say is an opinion, okay? So the man's government, the world that we live in, is not the manufacturer of human beings, okay? Remember that. Psychology, psychiatrists, lawyers, religious leaders are not the designer or manufacturer of marriage, nor the human family, unless yung kanyang mga pronouncements, yung kanyang mga tinuturo, are patterned or aligned with the design, the original design. Kung nakapattern doon yung kanilang mga sinasabi sa original design ng produkto, then that is right. Tama yun. You are getting the original truth or the original information. Because the truth will set you free. Tama ba? Diba? Tama ba, Mark? Anthony? Mark? Tama, Tama po. Diba? Pag, pag alam natin ang, ang totoo, what do we feel? Ano naalaman mo, Anthony, pag naalaman mo yung katotohanan? Um, magaan sa pairamdam po. Mas kampante ako pag alam ko yung totoo. Yes, di ba? May peace of mind. Yes po. Di ba? Nalalaman mo, nakukonfirm mo, ah, tama pala. Thank you, Mark Anton. Tama pala. Because you are getting the right information. You are getting the original information coming from the designer, from the original maker or manufacturer. Okay? Kaya an opinion outside the manual is called tampering with another man's products. Kapag sinabi ng mundo, pag sinabi ng kapitbahay mo, pag sinabi ng best friend mo na na hindi ka na ba masaya sa husband mo, iwanan mo na. <laughs> that is an opinion. Because you, you both have no right to do that. When you started to enter into relationship 
wala ka ng karapatan, lalo na kapag sinumpa mo na na siya ang pakikisamahan mo for life. If you made the vow na siya ang makikisamahan mo for your lifetime, tapos nag-away kayo, nalungkot ka, ayaw mo na siyang pakisamahan, at pinayuhan ka ng kaibigan mo, o nakarinig ka sa isang psychologist na, sige, may stress ka lang eh, magkakasakit ka lang, umalit ka lang sa relationship na yan, kung hindi ka na masaya. They are not the manufacturer of the product. <laughs> They have no right or authority to give you that advice. Yan ang magagaling na turo ng ating society. Diba? Tanga ka na lang kung mag-stay ka pa dyan sa relationship na yan. <laughs> diba? Makatapos mong pakasalan, you made the vow publicly in front of your families and friends. You made the vow that you will live with him for life. Until do you part, then suddenly na stress ka lang ayaw mo na. You have no right to separate from your spouse. Okay, because you will only suffer the consequences, the instant punishment. Na hindi gawa ng tao. Sino may gawa? yung mismong author ng marriage. Saan ba nangyari ang marriage? Saan ba unang nangyari ang marriage? I studied a lot. Sobra. Because gusto ko maintindihan yung buhay. Gusto ko malaman kung ba't nangyayari ito, ba't nangyayari yun, ba't ang dami nagihiwalay, bakit ang daming nagsasuffer ng mga bata. Gusto ko maintindihan lahat yan eh. Kaya I studied a lot. Since I was 13 years old, sitsikaan kong maintindihan lahat yan. At nakuha ko yung sagot. Nakita ko yung sagot. That's why ang yabang namin, every time we we announce our pre-marriage counseling, ang yabang namin. Why? Because we have the original information. We have the truth. And this truth will set you free. Free from all troubles. Free from all worries. Yung mga maling natutunan ninyo, yung mga maling nakuha ninyo sa society, sa mundong ito, we will destroy all of them after matapos na yung session na to. Now we are very proud to teach all these things because these are all aligned. These are all pattern from the original marriage design. Because pag sinabi ng kaibigan mo na humiwalay ka na dyan at sinunod mo because gusto mo maging masaya, kahit na anong successful mo sa buhay, you will never be happy. Kahit na anong yaman mo sa buhay, kahit anong dami ng pera mo, you will never be happy. Ano yung mo si Chris Aquino? Oh. <laughs> Kumasaya siya <laughs> sa pera niya. Oh. Eric, masaya ba si Chris Aquino kaya sa pera niya? Eric, mas tingin mo, Eric? Uh, depends. <laughs> Pero emotionally, <laughs> siguro. Mukhang, mukhang hindi naman dahil nagahanap pa siya, di ba? <laughs> oh, siguro sa ano, material things pero yung yung ano yung relationship personal eh yun yung hindi <laughs> yun nga kasi naghahanap pa siya eh kasi kung kung totally she she is very happy now with with his, her kids with the wealth that she is enjoying hindi natatanggap ng mga sweet toys yan di ba <laughs> meron pa rin eh so deep inside she knows that there is still lacking uh, element sa buhay niya na kailangan niyang punuan. Okay? May lacking element. So, always remember that kung meron mang nagsasabi, nagpapayo sa inyo na hindi naka-align doon sa design ng marriage, don't listen, don't follow. Now, the question is, alam niyo ba yung design ng marriage? Ito ngayon yung ating pag-uusapan. Para knowing the design will help you make the right decisions. Diba? Ang daming information sa social media, daming information tayong ma, malalaman sa Google. Iba-iba. Iba-ibang information, iba-ibang tao, iba-ibang author. Pero sila ba yung creator ng product na yun? Yun ang una yung dapat maisip. Sila ba yung gumawa ng produkto? Are they 
the designer of that product. You know, kailangan natin maging guide in knowing the truth. Okay? Don't forget that. So let's talk about byproduct. Manufacturer or the maker makes the products. The male and the female union creates a product also which is called marriage. Okay? Alam nyo ba ang marriage ay when you trace back the original meaning of marriage that is called covenant. Sumpaan. And you are, kanino ka sumusumpa? Sa mismong manufacturer. To whom you are making your vows. To the manufacturer of the product himself. Hindi kayong dalawa. Because you are also a product eh. By product na lang yung marriage after your union. After na magsama ang dugo ninyo yung dalawa. The marriage is your by product. There is still an original creator of both of you. Hindi kayo yung original designer ng marriage. Kahit na kayong dalawa, yung nag-create ng produkto. Kakaitindihan tayo? <laughs> by yes, product no. na lang. Yeah. By product na lang yung marriage. Because of your union. Mm. And marriage is a vow to the manufacturer himself. You're making a vow. Kahit na hindi kayo kasal, you already made a vow the moment nagsama ang tukunin yung dalawa. Yung kasalan, where you go in front of the minister, you go in, in the altar, you express your love to each other in front of people, invento ng tao yan. Yung kasalan. So I want you to realize that. Invento ng tao yan. Sa manufacturer ng, ng human beings mismo, when you decide to to join your bloods together. Paano ba nagsasama ang bloods ng dalawang tao? Di ba? Ito yung sexual union. The moment you do that, you already made a vow to God, to the manufacturer himself. Why am I saying this? Because marriage occurred in the very Verse, uh, first place which we call the Garden of Eden. Kasi I tried to look for the very first human beings on earth. I tried to look for them sa biology books. Wala eh. I tried to look for them sa philosophy books. Wala eh. Wala dun yung very first male and female. How they were designed. Paano sila ginawa ng Diyos? Saan sila ginawa ng manufacturer? Hindi ko nakakita sa history books, sa world history. Hindi ko nakakita sa medical books, lalo na sa mga political science or constitutional books. You will never find them in those books. <laughs> you can only find these two human beings, how they were created, and when were they created, and where were they created. You can only find those information sa isang libro which they call the Bible. That is the manual of the manufacturer. The Bible is the manual of the manufacturer ng produkto. Tayo yun, human beings. Nandudun yung design natin. Nandudun yung design ng male at female. Pag nagsama ang dugo nilang dalawa, Magkakaroon ulit ng produkto. <laughs> ano yun? Children. Okay? Sama ang dugo. Children ang mabubuo. What else? Kung nagsama kayong dalawa, male and female, you are both opposing uh, products, opposing products, the same product, pero opposing yung purpose din yung dalawa, there is a high probability of of what? Uh, Conflict. Studies have already shown na pag ang lalaki nagsama-sama, there is a high probability of being, uh, to, of getting along together well. No? Getting well together. Nagkakasundo sa isang usapan, masaya sila, 
no? Pag nagkasama-sama daw mga lalaki. And the same studies did to the woman. Pag nagsama-sama daw mga babae, when they get along together, nagkakasundo sila mga babae. Okay? And that is already proven by science. Pag nagsama ang male and female, sabi din sa studies, made uh, made in UK, or studied done by by in London, mataas ang probability ng conflict. Okay? <laughs> Pag nagsama ang male and female. There is high, there is a high probability of conflict. So never, never forget that. Talagang magko-conflict kayong dalawa, mag-asawa during your married life. Kaya, kaya siguro doon galing yung sinasabi ng, ng mundo, ng society, ng kapitbahay nyo, ng barkada nyo na normal lang sa mag-asawa ang nag-aaway. Kaya nila siguro nasabi yun. Normal nga. Sa kanila. Pero sa manufacturer. Is that normal? Sabihin mo sa manufacturer, eh, itong produkto mo, normal itong nangyayari. The manufacturer will tell you, no. That is not how I designed them to be. <laughs> They are not supposed to be in conflict with each other. Bakit? Ano ba ang binibigay pag ikaw ay may kaaway? Angela and Joel. Naranasan niyo bang magkatampuhan, nag-away, nagka, nagka, ano, basta nag-away. <laughs> ano naranasan niyo na, Angela, Joel? Ma, opo, pero hindi naman, nagbabati naman din agad. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman po pinapatagal. Ay, Ilang araw keeper. bago magbati? Ah, wala po ang araw, baka wala pa nga po isang oras eh. Kasi pinag-uusapan namin kung ano man yung Very conflict. Good. Yes. Very good, very good. Eh, habang hindi pa kayo nagbabati, how do you feel? Um, Siyempre, hindi po masaya, hindi po komportable, very, not naman ano, pero medyo uneasy, ganun. Kasi we really want to talk about it na. So, parang, ayun. Oh, in other words, Joel, nai-stress ka. <laughs> diba? Yeah, somehow, yeah. Oo, tapos, <laughs> hindi ka makakonsentrate sa trabaho mo. Diba? At ano pa yes. pwede maging efekto niyan? Epekto niyan. Eh pwedeng maging masungit ka sa office mates mo. Pati boss mo baka masungitan mo. Di ba? Mhm. ang may kaaway. Lalo na kung ang kaaway mo ay yung mismong love mo. <laughs> Di ba? Yung mahal mo. Mm-hmm. Stressful 'yan. At alam niyo ba according to science, according to studies, na ang lahat ng cancer ay nagsimula sa stress lang. Have you heard that? Lahat ng cancer na sakit started from stress. Most of the cancer daw talaga naggaling sa salitang stress. Nagsimula sa stress. Uh, sino may medical background sa inyo? Taas ang kamay. Do we have one in attendance? Wala ko napansin na nasa medical. I think may, may nurse tayo. Ayan, Roxette, di ba nurse ka? Yes po. Ano ang binibigay sa tao kapag stress? Ano ang dinudulot sa tao ng stress? Madami. Totoo yung sinabi. Totoo yung sabi ni uh, Sir Jello. Uh, lahat talaga ng pagtinignan mo sa libro ng medicine, ang pinaka-prominent factor ng hindi lang cancer actually, halos lahat ng sakit is stress. Mm-hmm. Um, even having heart attacks and stroke, the, ang main factor niya is having, uh, having uh, getting stress. So, lagi siyang by factor no? Oo oh, nga. Thank you, Mangi. Thank you, Roset. Roset. Di ba? Lahat pala halos ng sakit. <laughs> At nabasa ko rin, kapag na-stress daw ang tao, merong liquid na pinuproduce yung brains natin. Di ba? Tama, Roxanne? Merong liquid na pinuproduce, nakalimutan ko lang yung term, na pupunta sa vital organs natin at sisirain niya dahan-dahan kaya nawalan tayo ng ganang kumain. Kapag stress tayo, pupuntahan niya yung mga vital organs natin. Pahihinain niya. Uh, it's a negative chemical na lumalabas. Kung positive stress, nakakatulong yun. Di ba? Merong negative at positive stress daw eh. Pero siyempre, pag 
uh, nakipag-away ka sa taong mahal mo, nagkatampuhan kayo, that will cause you a negative stress. That will not make you productive for the day. No? <laughs> May inis ka lang. So, after having your children, you become a family. Yun ang byproduct niya na magkakasunod na hindi mo produkto. Di ba? Hindi mo cre creation. Meron pang isang creator na original. Kaya malaking frustration kapag hindi nagkakaanap ang mag-asawa. Why? Napifeel natin. Mafeel niya deep inside yung purpose mo bilang babae. Frustration sa isang babae ang hindi magkaanap. Because nafeel niya yun eh. Hindi niya control yun. Hindi niya invento yun. It's the invention of the manufacturer himself. Nilagay niya yun dun sa produkto. Nakabuilt in sa katawan ng babae to feel something na maging nanay siya, na maging mother siya. <laughs> Di ba? Oh. Bakit naramdaman niya yun? Because yun ang kanyang purpose. Kaya meron tayong studies na ginawa doon sa homework. Uh, meron tayong discussion na nilagay doon sa homework ninyo na what will happen kung hindi magkaanak ang inyong pinapasalan. Eh ikaw, lalaki, gustong gusto mo rin, nafe-feel mo rin na gusto mo maging tatay, di ba? Lahat ng lalaki, excited yan pag na, na, ka, magkakaroon ng anak. Eh kung five years, hindi pa makabuo. Frustration yan. Magmamalfunction na ang husband. Magmamalfunction na yung produkto. <laughs> okay? Kaya nga sa US, there is one state doon na before they require the couples to, to, to give them a marriage license, they require the couple to undergo medical examination na kung sino ang capable or incapable magkaanak. Bakit? Nauuwi lang sa paghihiwalay, nauuwi sa divorce. Ang taas ng divorce rate ng US. Kaya pag-usapan nyo yan, anong option ninyo? Both ba kayo ay medically or physically capable of bearing a child? Yan, yeah, to address that also para someday, hindi yan maging issue sa inyo. Hindi yan maging sumbatan sa inyo. So maaga palang malaman nyo na. At kung tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang desisyon ninyo to get married, to be a family, ano ang option ninyo? Kung isa sa inyo, hindi pala magkakaanak, hindi makakabuko. You have to discuss that and find solution na agreeable sa both parties. Okay? Because pag hindi nyo in-address yan, ngayon pa lang, mananahimik yung isa sa inyo dyan. Eh. Habang nagmamalfunction siya, mananahimik. At yung pananahimik na yon, yung silence na yon, will be very, very dangerous. Because, hindi mo alam, kumahanap na siya ng solusyon sa labas ng bahay to address that malfunctioning, to solve that malfunctioning part of, his, of himself na hindi niya control, hindi niya invento. Okay? <laughs> so, you really have to address that part of your marriage. So when a product is broken, where do you go to have it fixed? Pag Toyota ang kotse mo, uh, Robert, pag Toyota kotse mo, dadali mo ba sa BMW? Hindi po. Sa Toyota din po. So, oh, why? Why sa Toyota mo dadali? Siya po yung maker. Mas confident tayo doon, di ba? Mas may peace of mind tayo because he knows the design of his products. Kaya pag namoblema tayo sa asawa natin, <laughs> namoblema tayo sa husband, punta ka sa manufacturer. 
punta ka sa creator ng produkto. Bakit Lord nagkakagalit ng husband ko? Bakit siya ganito sa akin? Okay? So, iyon yung aalamin natin ngayon. How to consult the manufacturer. How to consult our maker. Marriage, therefore, is not a product of the state, Congress, or Senate, society, or your mahaderang best friend. Okay? <laughs> Hindi sila ang may gawa ng marriage. So, do not consult them. Pag sinabi ng Congress na, ito ang solusyon sa lahat ng marriage problem, divorce. Hindi yan ang solusyon. Palaki butas lang yan, solusyon binibigay ng tao. Pantapal sa temporary a uh, temporary solution to a permanent problem. Bakit permanent problem? Sa tingin mo magiging masaya ka? Na divorce ka nga. Pero naaalala mo naman yung mga anak mo sa kabila. You will only have bad memories, yung mga magagandang magagandang tagpo. Doon, sa una mong relationship, maaalala mo lang palagi. Ano ang papalit? Mapapalit ang lahat ng regrets, mapapalit ang lahat ng inis, mapapalit ang lahat ng galit. Bakit? Bakit nasira ang buhay mo? Bakit nasira ang pamilya niyo? Tinanong ko na rin yan. Hindi masagot ng mundo. When I consulted the manufacturer, Doon ko naiintindihan. Because of my ignorance to the laws of the manufacturer. <clears throat> Yung pala ang sagot ko. Because of my ignorance. Kaya, kaya pag mayroong family na nasasira, it's not because sobrang dunong nila. It's not because Kahit may PhD sila, kahit may masteral sila, kahit na anong-anong level ng ng posisyon na kamit nila sa lifetime nila, naging presidente, naging naging senador, naging pinaka-successful na businessman pero nasira ang pamilya. There is only one reason for that. And what is that? Ignorance to the design of the product. It's either na abuse or na misuse ang produkto. So, opinion, theory, theory or truth ba ang kailangan natin? We don't need opinion. We don't need theories. Because in theories, kailangan pang i-validate ng science. Di ba? Kailangan pang i-validate ng pag-aaral yung mga theory. Para ma-confirm yung kanyang theory. E eh better doon na tayo sa truth. Hindi na siya kailangang i-validate, hindi na siya kailangang uh, pag-aralan because yun na yung original information, eh. yun na yung truth. At sino may hawak ng truth? Of course, yung manufacturer. How do you search for the truth? You go back to the beginning. You go back to where it all started. You go back who designed it. Check from where it all started. Kaka-problema ko sa marriage nyo, dito na. Dito natin pupunta sa Garden of Eden. Kapag di mo alam, yung nangyari dyan, inassume mo lang na nagkasala silang dalawa because sila naririnig mo sa simbahan. Hindi mo na pinag-aralan kung bakit nauwi sila sa pag, pagkakasala. You will always experiment. Because yun lang ang alam mo, limited lang doon eh, sa pagkakasala nilang dalawa. Eh. Ang tanong, bakit ba sila nagkasala? Ang tanong, paano ba sila napunta doon sa sitwasyon ng pagkakasala? You have to know that. Kaya itong ang ating pinag-uusapan is the first layer of the truth na kailangan nyo malaman. The first foundational information that you need to know So you can make the right decisions towards each other. You can make the right, or you can say the right words to your partner. Ano ba ang tamang mga salita para sa partner mo, according sa kanyang design? Kasi pag hindi tama yung salitang binitawan mo sa partner mo, magmamalfunction siya. 
Testingin natin. Testing tayo, ha? So, pag hindi mo alam kung paano dinisign ang asawa mong babae, talagang magmamalfunction siya. Testingin natin. JP and Janine. JP and Janine. Okay, open nga yung video nyo. Yes. Janine, nagluluto ka ba? Uh, I just learned. Uh, natikman na ni JP. Yes. Uh, anong reaksyon niya nung una niyang sinabing anong reaksyon niya sa una mong luto? He liked it. He liked the cooking? Yes. yes. Totoo yun, JP? Uh, yeah. Sorry, he can't understand Tagalog. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> JP? Yes. Did you like what she cooked? Yeah, very nice. The first meal that she cooked? Yes, delicious. Uh, that's the truth. Yes. Okay. <laughs> very good. Very good. How about uh, uh, how about if uh, how about JP? If you tell Janine that your this is so salty, how will you feel, Janine? I would take it as a constructive criticism. <laughs> But will you be happy for that? Depends how he says it. If oh, he nicely, then I think it's okay. So I get okay. it. Oh, let, let's say, yun, sa common, common, the common expression of Filipinos is like this. Ang alat naman ito. This is so salty. <laughs> how will you feel, Janine? Bad if it, uh, it's being said. Yeah, yeah it's, this is so salty. How will you feel? I feel bad if, if it's... You'll feel bad. Uh, yeah, if it's that way. Will you still cook? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, madadala na eh. Uh, what is madadala in English? You tell you tell him, Janine. Ano madadala? Di ba? Hindi ka na uulit. Because alam mo na yung susunod na sasabihin eh. <laughs> Matotroma na. Matotro traumatic na yung experience mo. The very first meal na niluto mo. Because yung reaction negative ka agad. So that will... That will be marked to your head to your lifetime. Maalala mo yan eh. Now, anong dahilan bakit nasaktan si Janine pag, sa pagkakasabing ang alat ng niluto mo? Diba? Roxette and Gino. Thank you, JP and Janine. Roxette, Gino. <coughs> Matutuwa ka pa ba, ba, Roxette? Na ganun yung sabihin ni Gino? Magluluto ka pa ba? ba? Hindi, wala siya. Luto ka kami sa Oh, di ba? Kasi unang luto, ganun ka agad, hindi ka matutuwa. Nasaktan ka. At bakit ka nasaktan? Dahil? Hindi mo lang na-appreciate yung niluto ko. I've cooked for you and then you said na hindi mo sarap. Oo. Maala. Oo. Alam mo, Gino, kung alam mo yung design ng babae, ng pagkakagawa ng produktong babae, kung alam mo yung design, hindi mo siya sasabihin kasi alam mong masasaktan siya. Di ba? Alam mo ba, the, the science also validated that the women are designed to be emotional. Emotional ang mga babae. Hindi yan madrama, hindi yan, hindi yan maarte. Hindi sila maarte, hindi sila madrama. They will just cry every time na masama ang loob niya. Why? Because they are designed to be emotional. Mamaya ako pupunta sa mga husband. Mamaya ako pupunta sa mga lalaki. And that is why validated yung studies na yan ay na-confirm doon sa book na Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Na book. So if you want to understand the science na validating the woman to be very emotional nandun doon sa book na yun. Kaya you can never tell harsh words to a woman. 
kahit na hindi mo pa siya asawa. Lalo na pag naging asawa mo yun, iiyak at iiyak yan. Many males na nakausap ko, ang feeling nila, maarte yung napangasawa nila kasi iyak na iyak. <laughs> Iyakin pag nag-away. Hindi sila iyakin. They are just expressing what was originally designed for them. They are emotionally designed. Kaya nga, sabihan mo rin stupid yan eh. Testing natin. Testing tayo ulit. JP Resuelo and Andrea. JP and Andrea. Can I see your video? Ay, hello po. Ayan. Ay, blurry. Teka, nawala. Nawala pa yung bigla. JP. Ayan po. Ayan. And Andrea. O, oh, Andrea. Sibihan ka ni JP ng stupid. How will you feel? Siyempre, masakit. <laughs> Sakit yun. Sakit, di ba? Mm, baka umiyak oh. din ako. <laughs> umiyak ka din, di ba? Masakit mo magsalita. Mm-hmm. O, 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 ibabalik natin kay JP. JP, sinabihan ka ni Andrea ng stupid. Ano reaction? Masasaktan din po. Masasaktan Pero, din po. Masasaktan? Oo. Uh, Iiyak ka ba? Uh, hindi. Kim-kim. <laughs> Oo, kanin ko lang talaga. Oh, Iisipin ko lang. <laughs> Andrea, pag umiyak si JP, delikado yan. Mag-isip ka na. <laughs> baka, baka mama yan, maging bibigandang hari yan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hindi ka iiyak JP masasaktan ka rin pero alam mo kung anong susunod mong gagawin mag-iisip ka mm. bakit niya nasabing stupid ako hindi ka kagad hindi mo kagad papakitang nasaktan ka pero ang babae sasabihin kagad yan na masakit ang sinabi mo tama <laughs> Sasabihin nila kagad yun. Pero ang lalaki, tatahimik. Kahit na nasaktan ka, tatahimik ka. Bakit? Iisipin mo kasi, ba't niya nasabing stupid ako? Ano yung last na nangyari na lumabas akong stupid? Hmm. Alam mo kung bakit nangyayari sa iyo JP, sa mga lalaki? Bakit? Because men are designed to be logical. Hmm. Kahit tanongin mo si Gino dyan. Men validated by science. Men are designed to be logical. Mag-iisip yan. Men will always say what they think. While the woman will always say what they feel. So tuklasin niyo yan. Basahin niyo. Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. By James, James E. Connor. Search niya. <laughs> And that was the original design na nakikita natin sa Garden of Eden, na nangyari sa Garden of Eden. Iisa-isay natin yan maya-maya. Ihimay-himay natin yan. Para mag-function ng maayos ang bawat isa sa inyo. Magamit according to its design. Gumalaw according to its purpose para maayos ang functioning ninyong dalawa bilang mag-asawa. Because hindi normal sa mag-asawa ang nag Yan ang sisirain ko sa paniniwala nyo ngayon. Hindi normal. Abnormal. Because it will only stress you out. Ibigyan ka lang ng sakit. Kaya pag, pinib- pag, pag pinawin, piniwalaan ninyo yung sinasabi ng mundo, ng society, ng kapitbahay nyo, <laughs> na normal ang pag-aaway, pag pinaniwalaan nyo yan, you will always malfunction. Kasi nagiging mindset nyo yun. Ano normal to? Yung kapitbahay namin, nagbabatuan ng kaldero, sige magbatuan din tayo ng kaldero. Pasagi natin lahat ng plato natin. <laughs> <laughs> Ganun ang epekto noon sa atin. If we are very ignorant to the original design of the product. Kaya wag niyong paniniwalaan pag hindi galing doon sa design. Wag niyo pakikinggan kung hindi galing doon sa design. Wala na halos nagpapakasal. 
Simula nung 2005 to 2015, wala na halos. Bakit? Meron akong interview na, in-interview ako ng isang school, Lyceum. Tinanong ako. Eh, dami kong nabigay na reason. Because I know eh. Pinag-aralan ko din eh. Mas gusto ng marami ngayon na testingin na lang muna. Testingin muna bago magpatali, bago pumirma. <laughs> <laughs> Before I enter into into marriage legally, no? Pag sa tao kasi pag gobyerno, syempre legally yung tawag din. Pero again, as I told you a while ago, you are entering a commitment na hindi gawa ng tao, hindi imbento ng tao. To which they have no authority to separate you or to tell you what to do. Because they are not the manufacturer of marriage. <clears throat> And even one of every five Pinoy marriages is anal. Bakit nangyayari ito? Diba? There, there must be an answer to this. Hindi pwedeng porke ito ang trending, porke marami naghihiwalay, sige na, tanggapin na natin. E ano ba epekto ng paghihiwalay? ng family. Sinong mostly affected? Uh, tatanong tayo ulit. Naghiwala yung family. Sinong mostly affected? Angela and Joel. Hindi ko pa kayo nakita. Ay, nag-answer na. Ah, nakita mo. Oo oh, nga pala. Oh. pala <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh. Shirlene. Shirlene. Si Shirlene. Uh, hi po. Hi. Sinong mostly affected kapag naghiwala yung parents? Ah, uh, yung children po. Mga bata. ba? Diba? And hindi natin alam kung anong pwedeng gawin ng bata. Anong pwedeng kahinatnan ng mga bata. Because the moment na nawalan sila ng guidance, wala ng direction sa buhay. Pag wala kang direction sa buhay, Shirlene, anong gagawin mo? Sorry po, pakiulit po. Pag nawalan ka ng guide sa buhay, nawalan ka ng direction sa buhay, anong tendency na pwedeng mangyari sa'yo? Maaano po, mapapariwara po. Pwede ka mapariwara. Ma ang, ang, ang tawag dyan, experiment. mag experiment ka. Try ko nga ito. Subukan ko nga ito. At hindi mo alam yung outcome. ba diba? when, when, when we experiment, we can hurt people along the way. ba diba? Pwede tayong makasakit, pwede tayong masaktan, gagasos tayo ng malaki, and it can give us a traumatic experience when we experiment. Unlike if we have a guide, unlike if we have something na sinusundan. Right guide, tamang guide, totoong guide, we can make the right decisions. Hindi tayo mag experiment Okay? So there must be an answer to all these problems. Kasi the more families breaking up, the more children will experiment. Kaya hindi mo tapos-tapos ang ating drug problem. Kaya hindi mo mababa ang crimes. Kaya hindi mo mababa ang poverty. Hindi mo mababa ang teenage pregnancy. Why? Because of the parents na ginawang tungkol sa kanila yung marriage. Remember na hindi tungkol sa inyo ang marriage. This is not about you or how you feel. Mamaya makikita nyo kung bakit. Kaya there must be an answer to all of these problems. Hindi lagi tayo nag experiment Napupunta sa gobyerno ang problema. Every time may mga anak na mapabayaan, mag experiment yung bata, magkakaroon ng relationship, mabubuntis ng maaga. She is experimenting because walang guidance eh. Even Rappler became very uh, worried when they noticed na ang taas na ng ating mga marital 
uh, breakups. 10 years study. Uh, 15 years pala to. From 2001 hanggang 2015, akala nila 6,000 lang yung 2015. Hindi. Ang trending is talagang pataas. Research gate, ganun din. Pataas. Ang trending ng annulment, nullity of marriage, mga naghihiwalay. Hindi pa kasali ang divorce dyan. Sa abroad, hindi pa kasali mga, mga Muslim divorce dyan. Sa bilang na yan. Puro annulment, nullity of marriage lang yan. September 17, 2019. The average is almost 10,000 families. Sipin mo pa yung mga anak na involved dyan sa 10,000 na yan. Maga nag-aasawa. Maga na-involved sa crime. At may studies na rin na ginawa dyan. Na even sa US, Nakita nila yung effects ng broken marriages. Nai-involve sa crime ang mga bata. Pag hinuli nila yung mga yung mga suspect sa bawat crime na nangyayari, even yung mga namamarin sa schools sa US, di ba? Madalas mangyayari yun sa US, pupunta sa isang school yung isang suspect, pagbabarilin lang yung mga bata. That's very frustrating. And when they check the background of the suspect, they all came from broken homes. They all a product of broken families. At ito nakakatuwa. Sa atin, majority daw na nagpapile ng annulment is the female. Mga babae. At sa aking pag-aaral, na-realize ko maraming lalaki ang hindi alam kung paano mahalin ang babae. Nakikita niyo yung conflict mamaya kung bakit. <laughs> They don't know eh. Hindi nila alam eh. Yung design ng bawat isa eh. That's why this is happening. Nagtatry pa silang sagutin. Hindi ito sagot sa problema. <laughs> That is only a panakibutas, di ba? Pag bumaha yung sahig mo, may tumatagas na tubig, pupunasan mo lang ba? Of course, you will go to the main source of the problem, yung faucet. Saan mismo yung tulo? Saan mismo yung problema? Dahil every time na magpunasan mo lang yung sahig, o tatanggalan ng tubig yung sahig, it will always happen. Laging babaha. Because you are not addressing the real cause of the problem. Now, you are getting married. Alam nyo ba? If you trace back the original information of the word husband, where it came from, <clears throat> it came from the word houseband. One who binds the house together. Magugulat yung mga lalaki dito. Halos sila lagi ang topic dito. Okay, magulat. Joel. JP and uh, the rest of the grooms here. <laughs> Most of the topic dito about you males. Malalaman you why. House band connecting and keeping together the whole family. A man when betrothed was esteemed from that time a husband. The moment na nag-asawa, they are called the husband. And remember that the husband is a title given only to the males. Ah? Huh? <laughs> so, lalaki lang 'yan. Anong meaning ng na original Hebrew language? Because wala pang English before, eh, 'di ba? The language before was Hebrew. The very first language. What's the origin? Occupier and tiller of the soil. Cultivator. That's the original meaning of the husband. Tiller of the soil, cultivator. And you will soon become a father the moment you have your child. And what is the meaning of father? Sa, sa mga lalaki lang din binibigay yung title na yan. Uh, JP, can you read this to us? The meaning of father? 
Dave Pirasuelo? Um, father, uh, is um, the second letter is the picture of the tent or house where the family resides. So when combined, these letters form the meaning, the strength of the house. The strength of the house. Thank you, JP. Drawing kasi yung mga letters before. Eh. Drawing, drawing. So, the first letter is a picture of an ox. As the ox is strong, the letter also has the meaning of strong. The second letter is the picture of the tent or house where the family resides. Yeah. When combined, it becomes the father. Huh? <laughs> Don't forget that. You are the strength of the house. And as a father, in Hebrew, uh, God call, always calls himself as Abba. Sa scripture, sa manual, sa Bible. He always calls himself as Abba, being the father. And Abba in Hebrew means the source of every needs on earth. The provider of every needs on earth. The sustainer of every needs on earth. When we say source, minang gagalingan ng lahat ng nai-enjoy natin. Pagkain, tubig, sikat ng araw, plants, vegetables, everything. He is the source. Because siya nga yung manufacturer. Provider. Lahat ng kailangan natin, he provides. Sustain means tuloy-tuloy na pagpuprovide ng kailangan natin. At nagugulat pa kayo, hindi na uubos ang baboy, hindi na uubos ang beef, hindi na uubos ang chicken, hindi na uubos ang tubig. Napuputo lang naman yan when somebody becomes greed. Okay? <laughs> Pag pinutol yung supply. Pag naputol ang supply natin ng tubig, somebody become or became greedy. Pag naputol ang supply ng pagkain, somebody must have become a greedy person. Because it's supposed to be continuously being supplied to us. Nakatanim sa nature ng mga animals to produce all the time. Kaya hindi sila nauubos. They always have chicken on the table. They always have pork. They always have beef. Some animals na kinakain din sa ibang bansa. So, ikaw, kung nag-asawa ka, you become a father. You also have to provide for everything in the house. You have to make sure na lagi may pagkain sa loob ng bahay mo bilang ama. Di ba? Di ba napuprostrate kayo kapag nandun kayo sa bahay tapos walang, provide, walang pinuprovide na pagkain si daddy? Si mommy wala namang magawa because si mommy also feels that he, her husband should provide for the family. Mafe-feel din ang nanay niya yun eh. Naturally. It's built in. Kahit di niya gusto. She will feel it. <laughs> Bakit tong husband ko hindi natatrabaho? Wala kami makain. <laughs> Di ba? Oh, it's a natural built-in feeling that if the father does not provide for the needs of the home, the wife will malfunction. The children will malfunction. Because they feel in their hearts, si Papa, the father, should provide everything. Pag nawala na ang father, humiwalay man o namatay, the wife will feel very weak. Magiging malungkot. Di ba? Kaya matagal makarecover ang babae sa mga nagiging widower. Matagal sila makarecover. Because they're not designed to do heavy stuff na magtrabaho for the family to be a provider. Pabigat sa kanila yun. Because they feel in their hearts for the man to provide for themselves. Kaya nga, meron din silang feeling na kapag pera nila, pera lang nila. Oh. Kaya bihilang malaman ng husband kung magkano savings ng wife. Eh. <laughs> Unless sasabihin ng wife. <laughs> So deep in their hearts, pinatago nila yan. At ito pa masakit. <laughs> Lahat ng pera mo, husband, ay sa kanila rin. 
Okay. <laughs> yun din ang nafe-feel nila. At bakit nila nafe-feel yun? It's a built-in design that they also own what the husband owns. Kahit na walang batas pa yan, may batas man o wala. Kahit na may prenuptial agreement pa kayo na separating your properties, nafe-feel ang mga babae yan. Ha, Eric? Na yung pag-aari mo, Eric, yung pag-aari din na magiging asawa mo. Any objection to that, Eric? No objection, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Mapifil nila yan. Kaya magugulat kayo. Shopping ng shopping yan. <laughs> order ng order yan. <laughs> okay? Ito naman mga husband, syempre magagalit. Yun naman, yun naman yung feelings na hindi natin makontrol. Ha, Eric? Hindi natin makontrol yan. We... we We have that feeling na naka uh, built in. Ano yung feeling na yon? Magtipid. <laughs> to save for the family. Yun ang purpose natin eh. Provider eh. Eh pag waldas, tapo ng tapo ng pera, siyempre, di ba, napipil natin. Parang, parang wala na sa save. Pagdating ng gutom, ikaw pa rin yung magpuprovide, di ba? Ikaw yung aasahan nila mag-provide. Kating ng bagyo. Oh. Kaya may mga jokes na lumalabas madalas sa social media. Sana, bago dumating yung husband ko, sana dumating na lahat ng orders ko. Nababasa niyo ba yun? Amin, nabasa kayong ganun? <laughs> bago dumating si husband, sana mauna na yung mga online orders ko. Kasi alam nila, in their hearts, na magagalit yung reaksyon ng mga husband. Meron ka pang sapatos, may order ka na naman. <laughs> Dami mo pang bag. Bumili ka na naman. <laughs> eh, yan yung natural built-in sa mga babae. Nagkustuhin yung lahat na makita nilang maganda sa kanilang mata. Kaya Robert, magagalit ka pa ba kapag shopping ng shopping si ano? Si YP? Hindi po. A happy wife means happy life. Oh, you see? The more na alam mo yan, the more na alam mo kung paano ka magre-react. So yan ang difference kapag you have the original information. Okay? So magpipigil ka na lang kasi alam mo masasaktan siya pag sinita mo. <laughs> diba? Para walang away. <laughs> Kasabihin mo na lang na maayos ako, style ko dyan. Ang style ko dyan, para di siya masaktan. Uh, Iyada ako sa joke. <laughs> Pag nagkaroon ng chance, pinisingit ko. So, maganda yung pagkakasabi. <laughs> diba? Sweet pa rin. Walang away. So pag-aralan nyo yun, husbands, how to do that. Yung strategy na yan. <laughs> okay. Learn how to strategize. Kung ano yung gusto mong sabihin sa wifey mo. To control spending. Okay? So after knowing all these truths, lahat ng ito na pinag-uusapan natin, will you still get married? <laughs> Mag-asawa ka pa ba? Ha, Robert, Joshua, Mark Anthony, mag-asawa pa kayo? Yes po. Yes, tuloy pa. Tuloy, oh, tuloy ha? Tuloy na tuloy. Tanay na, tanay na. Okay. Walang ayawan na, ha? Oo oh, po. O, yan ang magiging... Magaling, magaling umilag. Yeah. <laughs> yan ay magiging purpose ninyo hindi na kayo single magiging husband na kayo then father later on okay? you need to understand the meaning of the husband and father so you can function well kailan din naman sa trabaho di ba? para makapag-function ka ng maayos sa posisyon na pinasok mo you have to know the job description and you have to apply once you learn your job description. Kailangan mo i-apply. <laughs> Hindi lang basta alam mo. You have to do something about it. So you can function well. Okay? Now, question. Perfect marriage ba? Possible? Who says yes? Who says no? 
madalas kong natatanggap na sagot, no. Why? Because dahil daw sa imperfect human beings, wala daw perfect na human beings. Kaya walang perfect marriage. Hindi perfect yung husband, hindi perfect yung wife. Kaya walang perfect marriage. So, kung most of you, yun ang sagot, no perfect marriage, no such perfect marriage, kung lahat kayo, yun ang sagot, I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> And I will justify it to you. I will prove it to you kung bakit ako nagdi-disagree. For purposes of discussion, I'm showing a cake to you. A perfect cake for purposes of discussion. Mayos, maganda, hindi nalulusaw. Very beautiful tingnan. Sarap kainin, yummy. Pleasing to the eye. But this cake is a result of a process. Remember that the baker who made this cake went into different test trials. And I'm sure frustrations then, the very first time he tried to bake a cake. So, dumaan siya sa proseso before a perfect cake is made. Di ba? Before ma-perfect ang isang bagay, dumadaan sa proseso. Process of what? Careful research of the right steps. How to make this perfect cake. Step one, step two, step three. Natuklasan na yan ng mga tao na una. Na unang mga bakers, natuklasan na nila yan. And they put it in writing. Nagkaroon ng mga cookbooks, nagkaroon ng mga, ng mga manual on how to make a, a better cake. Di ba? Mga steps na pinagdaanan nila, sinulat nila. At yun din ang gagawin mo. Siyempre, kung baguhan kang baker, you will adapt the effective steps na ginawa nila before. And somehow, along the way, you will develop your own step na naka-guide pa rin, naka-align pa rin doon sa kanilang mga steps sa pinagdaanan. You will also do a careful purchase of the right ingredients. Tamang ingredients pa yung binili ko. Baka naman mahinang klase, tapos sinamahan ko ng magbubuting klase, masisira pa rin yung produkto mo eh. Bakit? Meron kang mumurahin na binili, tapos may mamahalin kang binili, pinagsama mo, you might not even get a good product. So, you have to make sure na every ingredient is right, is tama. And most of us, di ba, we prefer yung expensive. Dahil guaranteed na maganda yung ibibigay niyang outcome. And careful study of the right formula. Careful mixture. Tama ba yung mixture na ginawa mo? Tama ba yung timbang? Nasa tamang dami ba siya? O baka konti, baka kulang? You have to study the right formula. What else? Are you in the right environment? Are you in the right location? Baka mainit. No? You might be in a, in a place where hot yung temperature, malulusa agad yung cake mo. Di ba? You have to be in the right location in the right position also. At yung mood mo, nasa mood ka ba to create a cake? Baka naman meron kang pinagdadaanan, meron kang stress, na stress ka, na inis ka, tapos magawa ka ng cake, nilalabas mo yung stress mo doon. Of course, you will get in a bad product. Pag yung stress mo, dinala mo doon sa cake. Diba? <laughs> diba? That's the possibilities. A perfect marriage is a result of a process too. Kagaya ng pinagdaanan ng cake na yan. Anong process ang pinagdaanan niya? Careful research of the right person. Am I marrying the right person? Did I check his or her background? Saan ba siya galing? Baka naman papas boy ito. Eh, pag, pag magkasama na kami, magkasawa na kami, hanapin lagi yung papa niya. Ha? <laughs> Baka naman mama's girl to. Baka mag-asawa na kami, eh. hanap lagi yung mama niya. Yung hindi magawa ng, yung hindi ko magawa, kinukumpare lagi ako doon sa mama niya. Diba? May mga hugot yan, yung ganyan. <laughs> so, you have to check the person you are marrying. That's why mayroong question na ganyan sa homework natin. Because kung 
alam mo yung pinanggalingan ng pagiging asawa mo, alam mo din kung paano siya i-address. For example, mamas girl nga, yung mga pangasawa mo, itatanongin mo yung mama niya, mama, ano ba yung mga laging gustong ginagawa ni Eno sa'yo? Yung ginagawa mo sa kanya. Ano yung gustong-gustong gawin sa kanya? Na baka hanapin niya pa mag-asawa na kami, mami. <laughs> Tanungin mo siya. So those are the strategies that you need to employ para i-address yung problema na yun. Kasi kung nakikita mo yung problema yun, you have to find solutions. Hindi yung, hindi yung mag-aantay ka na lang. Tingnan ko nga, ano ba pwede ko magawa dito? Pag hindi mo alam gagawin mo, siyempre you will experiment. Diba? Yun ang tendency natin. If you don't know, if we don't know kung anong ginagawa ng mami niya sa kanya before mo siya pakasalan. Mag-experiment ka. <laughs> so knowledge is very important. Information, original information is very important. That's how important it is. Baka naman sugarol yung husband mo bago mo pinakasalan. Kung mahilig magsabong yan, eh sigurado, daladala niya yan hanggang magsama kayo. Magsasabong at magsasabong niya. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah, address mo yung problema na yan. Kung itutuloy mo pa rin, kahit na alam mong sugarol yan, mahilig mangutang, <laughs> pero itutuloy mo pa rin yung marriage, hmm. you have to have solutions to that. <laughs> ah, brides <laughs> oh. dahil walang miracle na nangyayari sa alta the moment na nagsumpahan kayo na magbabago siya ano yun, magic? pumirma ng marriage contract sa day 2 ng marriage ninyo hindi na siya sugarol hindi na siya sabongero walang ganon, Mars ha? <laughs> miracle yun, inahanap mo Oh, walang ganun. Ah. <laughs> you have to address that. Oh. Kasi bisyo yan <clears throat> na kumakapit sa jeans. Okay? <laughs> Nagbabalik at babalik kapag kayo nagsasama na. At magiging problema yan sa'yo bilang wife. Okay? You have to know that. How to address that situation. And Kapag yung husband na pakakasalan mo ngayon, yung groom na pakakasalan mo ngayon, eh, meron palang background sa drugs. You have to address that. How to address that. Meron kang information na nakuha, kailangan ready ka sa consequences niya. Okay? Kaya nga, damo na ginagamit talaga ang isip kapag papasok sa relationship. Lalo na sa pag-aasawa. Paano ginagamit yung isip? Ito nga, oh, yung proseso pinag, pinag-uusapan natin ngayon. Siya ba ay masipag sa bahay? Masipag ba siya mag-aral? Siya ba ay responsible na individual? Nung siya ba ay binata, siya ba ay happy go lucky. Hindi ka na nga pwedeng mag Mobile Legends kapag nagkasawa ka na eh. Eric, nag-mobile legends ka pa ba, Eric? Naglalaro ka pa? Uh, ha? Uh, tinaray ko na, pero eh, wala, hindi na trip, matanda na. <laughs> <laughs> Pag may... Nagsawa na, nagsawa na. Oo, sa sa day one ng marriage ninyo, hindi na pwede yan, Eric. Ha? <laughs> eh, pero nung bata talaga, to be honest, nung bata talaga, mga ano, team, eh, adik ako doon, mga counter-strike, ganyan. Oo. Kaya kasi tumatanda, parang nasawa ka na rin. <laughs> Kung Oo, kami na, parang gano'n. Oo, kasi ibang level na yung pinasok mo. Yung paglalaro, that is during bachelor's day. Kung single ka, enjoy. Enjoy mo lahat yan. Laruin mo. Pero pag pumasok ko na sa pag-aasawa, nako. Alam nyo bang may tumawag sa akin for counseling? Yung babae, stewardess ng uh, isang airline company. 
si groom mayaman may pera si groom nagre-reklamo pa rin yung babae tumawag sa akin eh nagre-reklamo <laughs> bakit? ano po problema? <laughs> kasi po hindi ko maramdaman yung love sabi niya sabi ng stewardess si groom laro ng laro nagkasakit siya E eh, di na daan-daanan lang siya. <laughs> Hawak pa rin yung Mobile Legends habang may sakit siya. So, tumabot sa point na frustrated na siya. That's why tumawag na sa akin. <laughs> Wala lamang mo frustrated ng isang tao kapag, kapag humingi na ng tulong. <laughs> napuno din na, napuno na. So, akala kasi natin, lalo na tayong mga lalaki, mga husbands, Pagka we can provide for everything, we can sustain everything they need. Akala kasi natin, okay na. Hindi. <laughs> okay. Hindi okay. Bakit? Hindi lang naman yung food na pangangailangan nila, di ba? Husbands, ano pangangailangan ng babae? Love. That is violate, validated already by science. The greatest need of a woman is love. Science na nagsabi niyan. Eh how much more kung yung manufacturer pa mismo magsabi? Konsultay natin yung manufacturer, yung original design. Alam niyo kung ano sabi ng manufacturer? Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Nabasa niyo ba yun? <laughs> Uh, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 Ang sabi, love your wives and do not be harsh to them. Eh kaya naman pala. Kaya naman pala inutos ng manufacturer not to be harsh to the wives because they are emotionally designed, sabi ng science. Nagpartner na, nagmatch na. Ang galing, di ba? Oh. Hindi trust ang kailangan ng wives. Hindi respect, hindi loyalty. Anong top most kailangan ng wives? Love. Because everything else will follow. Pag minahal mo ang wife mo, in-express mo yung love mo, inasikaso mo kapag may sakit, everything else will just follow. Irirespeto mo siya, magiging loyal ka sa kanya. Magtitiwala ka sa kanya. It should start from loving her. Kaya nasermonan ko yung groom, yung husband doon, eh, yung asawa ng stewardess. Nausap ko talaga. Yung mobile legend mo during your bachelor's days siya. Nasawa ka na eh. You have to express your love to your wife. Attention, care, affection. That's what they need. Hindi lang yung pera mo. Ha? <laughs> okay? Kahit anong yaman mo. The woman will always find love kapag naging manhid ka. Lalabas ng bahay yan. Maghahanap ng affection sa labas. Maghahanap ng love sa labas ng bahay ninyo. Kaya gusto niyo yung husbands na hindi lumabas ng bahay yung mga wives ninyo? Ha? Yung susi? You want to know the key? Paliguan mo lagi ng pagmamahal yung wife ninyo. Kaya namumulubi na nga ako. <laughs> Kasi yung pagmamahal hindi lang pera eh. They still want affection. They still want care. Pag yung kung wala ka yung shower, pag-iigib mo ng pampaligo niya. Kung wala ka yung kung wala ka yung hot shower, eh pagpapainit mo ng tubig, lalagyan mo yung yung balde niya ng mainit na tubig. That's caring. And they love that. Tama ba, Andrea? Andrea? Tama. 
Di ba? <laughs> Inahanap niya yan. Ini-expect niya yan sa mga lalaki. And pag hindi nila ginawa, yung expectations na yan, na kayo lang kasi nakakaalam yan, ano? <laughs> hindi niya naman iuutos sa kanila yan, eh. Hindi niya naman iuutos sa husband niya yan, eh. Kasi baka magalit, no? Nag-worry kayo, baka magalit. O, so, sasarilinin lang nila yan. Kaya pag hindi alam, hindi mo alam husbands how to express that love, they will get frustrated. The wives will malfunction. Pag, na, pag nagmamalfunction na isang produkto, they are being abused. Okay? <laughs> Abnormal use na. Ganun yun. O mamaya, pupunta naman ako sa inyo mga girls. How to handle your husbands, ha? <laughs> Hindi lang ito tungkol sa inyo, ha? Okay. So, careful purchase of the right ingredients. Ano bang karakter meron yung tao? Pinakakasalan ko. Kung si Dido na akong pakasalan siya, ano yung problemang nakita ko na kailangan kong i-address? O ano pa yung isang possible problem na na pwede nyo ma-experience? Baka naman itong pinakakasalan kong husband ay eh, provider sa kanyang pamilya. Pinasa nung tatay niya yung pagpuprovide sa kanyang mga kapatid. Pag-aralin mo muna mga kapatid mo ha. Ikaw naman. Pagod na si papa. <laughs> Ikaw naman ha. Pag-aralin mo lahat ng kapatid mo. O, siyempre, ito naman si, si kuya na pakakasalan mo. Yung sahod niya, 100% nandun niya. Sa kanyang mga kapatid. Baka konti lang natitira sa kanya. Eh, nag-asawa. Oh, hindi pa tapos mag-aral yung mga kapatid. <laughs> oh, anong iuwi niya sa bahay ninyo bilang mag-asawa? Kalate. Hmm. Kung kalate. <laughs> baka, baka 30% o 20% na lang. Ikaw naman, si wife, kakahid ka ng kakayo bago overtime. Diba? Gagabihin ka ng uwi. Why? Because kulang yung budget ka sa bahay. Mag-asawa na kayo eh. Hmm. And there will come a time na mapapagod ka. <laughs> Magsasawa ka. Teka muna, bakit ba akong sikap na sikap? Magmamalfunction ka na. Because you are not designed to be a provider. Wives. Kahit na anong sipag mo, kahit na anong ganda ng sahod mo, trabaho mo, Once you become the provider of the house, for any reason, magmamalfunction ka. So, umpisa, kaya mong gawin. Yes. Eh, yung design mo, pag na-abuse na, na nagmamalfunction na yan. Okay? Careful study of the right formula. The marriage itself. Ano ang mixture na kailangan mo? Ano ang mga Principles na kailangan mong malaman to have the right formula in marriage. Application na yan. Ito mga pinag-uusapan natin. Don't just be satisfied with just knowing them. I will pass the ball on to you afterwards. For what? For applying it. Applying all the principles that we have discussed here. That we have learned. What else? Nasa tamang panahon na ba para siya ay mag-asawa? Nasa tamang oras na ba para siya ay mag-asawa? Siya ba ay mahilig sa bata? No? Yung mga wives, mga soon-to-be wives, ha? napansin niyo na ba, groom? Na mahilig ba siya sa bata? Baka pag may batang kumakalabit sa kanya, nandidiri siya. <laughs> o, paano na pag may anak kayo? O, bigla na buntis. Sisisihin ka niyan. <laughs> Ikaw kasi, di pa ako ready mag-anak eh. Sexy-sexy ko eh. Sinira mo figure ko eh. <laughs> Yan to address that. Ready ka na bang mag-asawa? Talaga. Oh yes, sige nga, kaya nga tayo nag-set ng wedding eh. <laughs> oh, next question. Ready ka na ba mag-anak? 
Oo, oh, ready na. Tagal na ako excited magka-baby. Oo. Oh. Dapat patunayan niya yan. Okay? <laughs> Talagang maaasikaso, mababantayan, maaalagaan ang inyong anak. Okay? What else? Siya ba ay nasa tamang edad na? Tamang maturity na? Kasi i-work out niya yan. You have to work that out. Kung nasa tamang panahon na talaga kayong dalawa para mag-asawa. Because itong pinlano ninyong wedding is showing, proving to the world you, that you are committing to each other. Committing yourselves to each other. Not to the government. Not to the world. But to your maker, to your manufacturer. Tatlo kayo. Tatlo nga kayo in the uh, equation. Your maker, who is God, you as the husband, and you as the wife. Triangle. Yan yung laging sinasabi ng mga pinapayo ng mga matatanda na put God in the center of your relationship. Yun ang ibig sabihin noon. Hindi lang nila ma-explain. <laughs> okay? Anong ibig sabihin? You have to consult him. Lord, I am getting married. Is he the one already? Even in that very first decision na gagawin mo, you have to consult your father, your creator. You have to consult your manufacturer. Siya na ba yung pakakasalan ko, Lord? You must do that. Para later on, mag-away man kayo, wala kang sisisihin. Hindi mo sisisihin ng Diyos. You will never blame Him. Pag nag-decide ka lang mag-isa on your own without consulting God, then later on, sinisi mo siya, ay babalik sa iyo yun. Okay? At talbog sa iyo yun. <laughs> So, nagsama na kayo. Kinasal na. Ito na. Always put him in the equation for life habang kayo nabubuhay. Hindi siya pwede mawala sa eksena niyo yung dalawa. Okay? Because very powerful ang prayers. Na patunayan ko na yan. Nagbabago ang tao. Hindi mo kontrol ang utak ng tao. Hindi mo kontrol ang utak ng asawa mo. So pwedeng magbago yan sooner or later. Lalong-lalo na pag nagmamalfunction na yan, magbabago yan. So, how will you address the situation? How will you fix the problem? Sasamahan mo ng consultation to the maker. Sasamahan mo ng consultation to your manufacturer. Lord, my husband is still doing what he's doing when he is single. <laughs> Isusumbong mo na. Oh. Nagsusugal pa rin siya, Lord. <laughs> Kailangan mo na i-consulta yan kung hindi na siya nagpapakontrol sa'yo. Hindi na siya nakikinig sa'yo. Nawala na yung focus. When you pray, you are exercising your right to your manufacturer. Always remember that. And he answers prayers. Bibigyan na ng leksyon yung husband mo matigas ang ulo. Napatunayan ko na yan. <laughs> Bibigyan ka ng leksyon ng Diyos. Mga husband. So beware. Ha? At baka yung leksyon na yan, hindi mo kayanin. Okay? Yun ang nakakatakot to. So who is the foundation inside the family? The male or the female? Uh, harap tayo ng sasagot. Uh, Joshua and Mel. Who's the foundation in the family? Uh, the male. Male pa. Male. The male. Bilis sumagot ni Mel. <laughs> Naunahan ka, Joshua. 
<laughs> Nafi-feel nila kasi yan eh. That's a natural built-in feeling. To expect the man to be the foundation in the house. Kaya nga, makikita nyo mamaya, sa nangyari sa Garden of Eden, na lalaki lang yung laging kinakausap ng Diyos. Puro si Adan ang kinakausap ng Diyos. Giving all the instructions. Telling him the do's and don'ts. <laughs> the Sagada Ide. Okay? Now, strong families daw, foundation of a great nation, kapag bawat bahay, buo ang pamilya, bawat bahay, maayos, nagmamahalan sa loob ng bahay, walang batang maliligaw ng landas. At kung ang bawat bahay ay ganoon ang situation, You can have a strong community. Less crime. Walang magnanakaw. Walang mapupunta sa drugs ng mga bata. Walang mag-aasawa ng maaga because nag-guide ng maayos ng magulang. Kung bawat community ganoon, ako ang ganda siguro ng ating bansa. Kaya ang daming nagmamigrate eh. Because nakikita nila yung magandang buhay sa ibang lugar. Hindi nila makita dito yung Possible ba na magkaroon ng bansang napakaganda? Ah, ba, possible. Pakikita mo dun, meron laging survey. The 10 most happiest countries in the world. 10 most uh, livable or crime-free country. May ganun. Is that impossible to, to achieve or obtain? Hindi. That is possible to achieve. Bakit? You have control over your marriage. Yung cake, kaya naging perfect yun because the baker has control of the cake. The baker has control of the ingredients, of the mixture, of the character na dapat niyang ilagay sa cake niya. You both have control over your relationship. Kahit na hindi mo control yung utak ng asawa mo, if you are functioning well according to your design, you will have control, full control over your marriage. Kaya mali ang sinasabi na walang perfect marriage because imperfect in human beings, that is wrong. Because you have full control over your marriage. Nag-away kayo. Nakipagsagutan ka sa husband. Because alam mong tama ka. Ba't kaya nag-aaway? Kasi pinili mo din na makipag-aaway. You decided to fight with your husband. Eh ang husband, ako dito science, the husband greatest need Every husband's greatest need is respect. Hindi love. Love will just follow. Respect over everything else. Respect yung inahanap ng husband sa bawat wife. The moment na lumaban ka sa husband mo, lalong magiging harsh yan sa'yo. Why? Nagmamalfunction na siya. Because you are not giving what he needs. Alagang magkakaroon ng clash sa loob ng bahay. Because you choose to fight over your husband. Kaya nga meron kayong homework. How will you express yung Ganong alam mong pangangailangan ng husband. Wala akong nakitang sagot na respect. Meron ba? 
Uh, meron ba sumagot sa inyo respect? Ano sa tingin mo ang greatest need ng husband mo? And how will you express that in five ways? Who answered respect? Wala akong nakita eh. Wala akong napansin sumagot ng respect. Mukhang wala, ano? I want you to know that the manufacturer has already stated that na validated ng science ang sabi ng manufacturer sa efficiency din wives respect your husband respect followed by submission respect and submit to your husband hindi trust yung mga kailangan ng husband mo hindi loyalty yung pangangailangan ng husband mo Respect is your guiding principle and everything else follows. When you respect your husband, of course, magtataksil ka ba sa kanya? When you respect your husband, hindi ba mas dapat mo siyang mahalin? Di ba? It will just follow. When you decide following the respect need of your husband. So the foundation of the nation daw ay ang ating pamilya. Yan, nakaka, dyan daw nakakapit ang fundasyon ng bayan. That is also stated in section 1 of the Philippine Constitution, Article 15. The state recognizes the Filipino family as the foundation of the nation. So itong binubuo nyo ay pundasyon ng bayan, pundasyon ng bansa. At sa inyong may mga engineering background, sa construction, ang pinakamalaking budget ay nilalaan lagi sa foundation. Not in every part of the building. It's always in the foundation. Pinakamburk ng budget. Nandiyan. Because kahit anong ganda na ilagay nila sa ibabaw, kung mahina ang pundasyon, you know what will happen. And also in the family code, they reiterated that the family being the foundation of the nation is a basic social institution which public policy cherishes and protects. So malapit na tayong mag-break. Define foundation under the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. It's an underlying base or support, especially the whole masonry substructure of a building and a body or ground upon which something is built up or overlaid. As I've said, again, the bulk of every construction goes to the foundation. Now, in this uh, study, usapan natin after your, after your break. But this is just one of the many cases na mga nasisirang marriage. Violence against women and children. Siyempre, pag nauwi na sa demandahan ng inyong pagsasama, nauwi na sa korte, tinanong niya na sa korte ang problema. Meron pa ba kayong pamilyang sinisave? If you bring that to court, Roxette and Gino, meron pa ba? Wala na. Wala na, di ba? Korte na yun. Oo, nasa korte na kayo eh. <laughs> Nothing will be safe anymore. So, wounded feelings na yan, emotional, uh, marami ng stress, anxiety ang ibibigay sa inyo niya. Okay? Because you are you are now seeking solutions to the government. You forget God or you forgot God already. Mas ginawa niyong option ng pagpunta sa korte to solve your problems. And ano ang punishment na naka-built in dyan? Lifetime stress. Lifetime mental torture ang ibibigay niya. So, yan ang ating first session. Ang susunod dito sa discussion natin uh, later or when we resume is the laws of men. No? Yung yung rights and obligations ninyo bilang husband and wife according to the family code sa Article 68. So yan ang pag-usapan natin sa isa, beginning from this case study, para rin malaman ninyo ano ba yung mga sinet na batas ng tao. 
about marriage at i-compare natin sa marriage law ng manufacturer. Kung naka-align ba yung batas ng tao na ginawa nila sa marriage law. Kung naka-align siya sa marriage law ng mismong manufacturer ng marriage. So, I will see you again at 1 o'clock. Lunch break muna kayo. It's 12.05 sa akin time check. Can we meet again at 1.05? Guys? Okay. 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 Have, okay. Have, okay. Have, have a great lunch. See you again at 1.05. Use the same link, ha? Okay po. Thank you. Salamat na marami you. for listening. Naku, maganda ang usapan natin sa pagbabalik. Thank you. Thank you. Counseling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Huwag kayo mga wala, ha? I hold na lang namin yung channel. Thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. See you again. Okay.